right guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far this is about the fifth time recording this because there's constantly new information coming out about the drama that took place in today's games this was one of the most drama filled episodes that i've ever been a part of in my entire life from literal anti-favoritism tweets to teams breaking the rules to teams doubling down and trying to break the rules to teams needing to be disqualified for breaking the rules to turning out the teams weren't breaking the rules at all all along there's a bunch of misinformation being spread around and a lot of these teams are unfortunately dealt with some weird hands in this situation as well and as well as some teams underperforming as we have our first 10 teams eliminated from champs and now it is about to start roster mania it's about to start retirements and people moving on to other games so now is the time to subscribe to this channel by liking the video of course click that big fat red button that used to be red now it's white actually without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this first thing i want to make mention of by the way my voice is still out you know just trying to go with the flow ignore the voice crack so how it actually said earlier this morning now this tweet was very quickly deleted so i'd imagine that how obviously decided that maybe this was false maybe this wasn't true at all or maybe he just didn't want it to be seen i don't know exactly what's going on somebody surely told him something somewhere that made him send this so he says that the apex community uh basically had a situation where the analyst desk people and the casters were told to not talk about tsm at all during algs which is a little strange imagine being so prominent in the apex history that we suffer from it very cool now of course this post was deleted a lot of people think maybe he realized this was a mess up this wasn't true and i even said you know in a deleted post how claims this and i had to even follow it up by saying you know i spoke with multiple people at, des at the desk today to ask them if this was true they said absolutely not they were never told that matter of fact they were specifically told multiple teams will have storylines before the game so like the the people the producers will ask them who are you looking at before we go on before we go live or anything like that who do you want to talk about and what they'll try to do is try to like gear some uh stat lines and stuff get ready to talk about these teams more and more so that they can put it on it so if you know if you don't want to be generic and you don't want to bring up tsm then maybe that's why tsm's not getting talked about however it's very obvious to know that how didn't just tweet this out of nowhere someone told him something and i don't know exactly what that is but nonetheless obviously i, I think we could all uh, assume that that wasn't going to be true i just don't know where it came from or who exactly is saying it now we need to talk about the updates as the scorecards are in we now know the 10 teams eliminated as the algs loser bracket round one is complete some unfortunate news like i said so gear up number one we did get fanatic fc destroy kcp complexity e36 northeption e6 md white onic and pulverex are the 10 teams moving forward they have won in this loser bracket round one and obviously we'll be moving on to loser bracket round two however some unfortunate and i will say some of these are a little shocking i was not expecting go next go dsg i was not expecting them to lose riddle 310 aurora there's one of the drama teams that we're going to be talking about today lcdf j Ling's kick and unfortunately 100 thieves in last place and i don't mean to like you know kick a man while he's down but not only last place literally over double the amount of points in 19th place than 100 thieves in 20th place it, it was just a really really bad day for them and I hate it because we've called it we even said on the channel not long ago that uh basically there will probably be some roster changes with this team because they're triple mouse and keyboard still and everybody else is running a controller for good reason now and uh after a performance like that i mean I i'm willing to bet money that there will be a roster change here with 100 thieves unfortunately moving on that squad probably will break up and it's also worthy to note not to kick a man I, i'm doing it bad i know i am but the dojo is having timmy which is a content creator for 100 thieves outperform the professional team it's not a good look it's not a good look at all unfortunately now those are the 10 teams obviously moving forward and moving out of the tournament as well now the drama actually came from this team right here this was aurora and you can see they posted in 36th place and only two players here right where's their third they had a third at the beginning of the week what happened to him why did he not play today if you notice and watch the games they were playing as a duo today what happened what was going on even the comments here karma you deserve this what a joke and i was one of these guys right i saw these posts and i was like man these guys are cringe for doing this i can't believe that they did this this is just crazy why would they be doing this and then this is why i actually like i said recorded this video a couple of times and i was totally on this guy's side now i'm not saying i'm on one side or the other now i'm trying to stay neutral but i'm saying the evidence is not conclusive 
as it may seem. So before you get your opinion and your pitchforks, hold out to the very end. So he says after these rough days ahead, obviously Aurora decided to play with tax their emergency sub. It's kind of sad because I traveled a lot of hours for this, but it is what it is. I wish them good luck. Just posting this. So no one gets surprised why I'm not on stage today. You can see the DM clearly says here that basically he got a DM and a message from his teammate saying, look, we're going to go play with tax in the next games because we just don't have the synergy, right? Like, of course, that sounds like these guys are not vibing and they don't want to keep it going, right? Makes fair. It's fair play, right? Makes sense. However, that doesn't seem to be the case at all. Zach Conley, actually the league ops manager for ALGS, basically admitted that this is going to forfeit and disqualify Aurora from having a third player now because they're not allowed to tap into their emergency sub unless there's an emergency. You can't just say, we ain't got no synergy. We don't like the way we're playing. We want another guy. You don't get to do that. So they forfeited their third sub and that's when we got more information. Apparently, Snipe Down and other pro players were saying, look, you know, I get there's tension and all this stuff, but look, if they come back to you and say, hey, we need to play, can you play whatever? You should simply play. And his third, his substitute came out and said this. Ux had said from Team Intricate, by the way, the issue here is that even though I am mad about it or I was mad that they replaced me, I still tell, told them I'm ready to play. The problem comes when they start telling me and ask me to play as if I'm sick, to tell the admin, to tell the referee that I'm sick and I can't play. That way they can play with tax. They say, let's just do it though, even though it wasn't working as expected. So they asked him to lie to the referee. Okay, that's obviously disrespectful. Even Albert Lely says, no, they can get screwed, obviously. Trying to make you lie to an admin for their own benefit is scumbag behavior. Sit it out and watch them fail the rest of their tournament run. The fact that they doubled down on their BS is even more of a reason for you to not play in spite of them. I think we most, that's a harsh opinion, but I think we mostly agreed with that, with the evidence that was presented before us. Even Madness has come out and said, you know, Aurora should have been disqualified from the entire tournament. However, it seems like more information. You can see Madness said the same thing I did. After more information was posted, it's obvious that this was just bad emotions and sort of uh, basically just quitting on Aurora. So actually, we were wrong. This guy lied. He wasn't, a, none of this was happening at all. It seems like actually it was a big lie. And I, I'm honestly like ashamed that a lot of us believed it. So Kim Chi Lee had basically said, uh, but these guys deserved a world. Talking about Aurora, Nine Impulse and uh, their teammate as well, OJ Rain. They, these guys deserve the world. And honestly, the whole team as a whole are world-class players and obviously have to play with obstacles every time. Nine Impulse came out with a statement. And what he said, it's, it's a lot of broken English. It's very long as well, but I'll read it to you. What he said was basically that they asked him to play like point blank. And he said he didn't know if he wanted to play. He wasn't liking the way things were going. He wasn't comfortable with the way things were going. He was not happy with the way things were going. And instead of him playing, they basically said, look, will you please play with us? Because if not, we're gonna have to play as a duo. And if you won't play with us, this was the actual DM. So like I said, it turns out he kind of lied, I guess. I mean, someone's lying somewhere. He basically said, if you don't play, will you please tell them you're sick so that we can get a third teammate? Because it's robbing Aurora. It's not fair to them. And that's exactly what he did not do. It turns out he basically was just kind of, it, it looks like he's just quitting on them. And I think honestly, our, our opinions are flipping now. It goes from like, screw Aurora. They need to basically like, you know, figure out what's going on. Now it's like, this guy just bailed on his teammates. This is just so sad to see, man. And honestly, this is, unsportsmanlike at its finest and i hate to see how all this stuff went down the drama was just horrible and i really did not want to see that from anybody also in the news unfortunate stuff we talked about how bad 100 thieves played in dead last and it looks like vax obviously not taking it very well also saying yep dot 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 that's ggs guys i'm sorry that i don't know if this is just a sad post because they lost or if it's one of those things where he might retire he might move on he might go to some other game he might not look to play apex anymore that's not what I want, of course. Uh, you know, even though like, you know, roster mania is huge. I don't wish that for any player. I don't wish that for any roster. Obviously emotions are high. These things are just simply bound to happen. I don't take any pride or joy in that. These are human beings with a lot of emotions, a lot on the line as well. And it's just unfortunate to see some of these teams break apart that once were so, so good. And sometimes you just wonder and wish and go back 
can we just go back to the way things were but obviously as meta changes not all teams are able to keep up with the meta changes as well so that's why people have to simply move on now as we call if we talk about people moving on people are going to be moving on tomorrow because the games will continue and here is the schedule you got these 20 teams in green tomorrow that will battle it out your dark zeros your x sets your black hands your optic gaming dreamfire lgc tsm sentinels moist realize saf from the south america region ibg ascend oxygen dojo singularity alliance nrg phase and tom young kung will basically fight it out for top 10 tomorrow the top 10 will move on to finals the bottom 10 will go face these teams from the top 10 of the loser bracket so you're going to have a lot of eliminations again tomorrow 10 more exactly and you're going to see some upsets and guess what some more roster changes will probably take place from those teams as well i would even imagine that there is a world where some of the bottom finals teams will still make roster changes like you could even see dark zero in their their basic uh you know article that came out they say anything outside of top two is catastrophic for them so these guys have high expectations you will probably see some upsets in the expectations it's just bound to happen tsn nrg x set one of them will not win the tournament right it's just very likely our two or two of them obviously only one winner so two of those guys won't win what are they going to do with that loss how are they going to react to that is there a world where dojo oxygen someone else comes in and sweeps it up and none of them win does tsn make a roster change i doubt it does dark zero make a roster change well i actually don't doubt it as much just because those guys like to keep things changing i mean they won regional finals and then dropped their coach after they won so obviously nothing is off the line for those guys so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about all the drama that took place in today's video all of the updates all of the eliminations and which teams you look to make a roster change going into this offseason of course you're going to want to make sure you're liked subscribe to the channel because it's about to get spicy over here on the channel we'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves with vibrant only positivity and until the next time we'll see you all later gators